Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at the Micro Machines Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 4 Yellow Ranger set. This set contains 4 pieces including the Mastodon Battle Bike, Trini, the Yellow Ranger, and the Sabertooth Tiger Dinozord. Check out the box art of the original 5 Rangers. This set was released by Galoob in 1994. Time to get it out of the package. Here's the set out of the package. We're going to start by taking a look at Trini. Here's the Trini minifigure. She's dressed in a white top and yellow pants. She's got long, dark hair. It's a pretty generic looking minifigure, but, you know, I, I think it's pretty believable as Trini. Uh, some of the other figures were a little bit even more generic or less recognizable as Trini. Again, we've got no paint apps on the face, which makes it appear a little plain, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. It's Morphin Time, Sabertooth Tiger! And here we've got the Yellow Ranger. And man, is this Yellow Ranger beefy. Uh, like many of the 90s Power Ranger toys, the, the sculpt of the female Rangers seems to be the same as the sculpt of the male Rangers. This is a very buff Trini. Look at how big the Ranger is compared. You know, it's t the Ranger's taller, the arms are way bulkier. Uh, it's just enormous. But here I've got the Billy Blue Ranger next to the Trini Yellow Ranger, and you can see how masculine that Yellow Ranger is. Seems to have all the same musculature going on there. <laughs> she does have a power coin on her chest. Again, it's not painted real well. There's a little bit of detail with the Morpher. The Blade Blaster holster is painted in. Uh, pretty generic, but not too bad. A little bit of detail on the helmet. Kind of a fun figure, although I don't really like the yellow that much it's molded in. I like the yellow paint on the pants better than the yellow of the, the Ranger costume. Next up, we've got the Mastodon Battle Bike. I understand why this was included. The Yellow Ranger rides in this sidecar here, but unfortunately there's no minifigure glued in here. That would have been really nice if there was like the torso for Yellow Ranger glued in here. Instead, this is pretty much identical to the Mastodon cycle we got in the Black Ranger pack. Uh, so if you own the complete set, it's just a double, which is totally a bummer, and it doesn't really represent the Yellow Ranger very well. It's got that Black Ranger figure on there, he's got some details painted on his helmet, he's got a power coin on his chest, and of course it's got the uh, rolling wheels on the bike, but the wheel on the sidecar, man, woo, barely spins. And no, I don't think the sidecar is detachable. The final piece from this set is the Sabertooth Tiger Dino Zord. It looks pretty good. Again, we've got no articulation here, which has been typical with these Micro Machines. And I get it, it's very small scale. The teeth on the tr on this Sabertooth Tiger are flipped up, which is typically only up in the Megazord mode when it's actually its own Dino Zord. Usually they point down the way a Sabertooth Tiger should look. This is the Legacy Collection Sabertooth Tiger, and this is what I mean. As the tiger, the teeth point down, and then when it converts into leg mode, then the teeth flip up. The Sabertooth Tiger has some nice painted on details on the side here, a little bit of other details too. Not everything's painted in though, like these wheels on the back are plain. Uh, the laser cannon can't move. It doesn't have a lot of detail sculpted in the top, but it looks decent, and its action feature works pretty well. You pull back this front leg, and the mouth opens up. Uh, and that works pretty well, and that's sort of what we see in the show when the Sabertooth Tiger Zord comes running. Uh, it, it is moving its legs and roaring as it goes across. So th that one works pretty well. It doesn't look too goofy. That may be also the reason why those teeth point up, was just to make the mouth move easier. Uh, but it would have been really cool if they could be pointing down and the mouth still move. This is a pretty good set, but once again, it shows off how the female rangers always get shortchanged. That Mastodon battle bike that doesn't have a yellow ranger minifigure is a little bit disappointing, especially to collectors that have the complete set. I've really been having a lot of fun taking a look at these Power Rangers Micro Machine sets. There's only one more to look at. We still have to look at Kimberly the Pink Ranger. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.